There are many apps that promise to revolutionize the way you capture information, but most of them do no taking wrong. Problem one, workspaces that are too simple. You can capture information, but it's impossible to find it later, and you can't easily reshape how you'd like to see your notes in different contexts. Problem two, when a workspace gets too complex. You get so lost in endless plugin maintenance and database jungles that you need a second notes app just to keep track of the first. Here's common ways you might be doing note taking wrong and how one app, Tana, is solving each of these problems. Your notes aren't easy to capture. Why are you taking notes? You want to capture important thoughts, move forward projects, achieve goals and collaborate. And you can't do that unless it's as easy as possible to bring things in. Tana makes capture easy. If you're on the go, you can capture by voice, writing or quickly share from any app. If you use your voice to capture, Tana will transcribe it. And if you capture to a super tag, Tana will use that tag to send notes to wherever they need to go so they can be found again quickly later. If you're on the desktop, you don't need to go anywhere to capture notes. Just hit this button in Tana's sidebar. This will allow you to quickly add a note, which will then be stored in your daily note, like a journal for your day. And again, add a super tag to a note that's a certain kind of thing, like a project idea, and it will automatically show up anywhere else you want it, such as a dedicated page for your project ideas you can't reuse notes easily. If you can capture notes effortlessly, but you can't reuse them or add to them easily, you'll end up abandoning them and recreating new ones instead of getting to continue again from your past work. That's why in Tana, you just need to hit the at key while you're typing, begin to look for your previous work. You'll see a lot of options. And if you click one, you can instantly link to it from here. But this gets even more useful. If you use at to summon an existing note wherever you're already working, you can double click it and it will edit the original note here and anywhere else it lives. Click on the expand icon next to the note to add new notes to both places too. You can't quickly rework notes. This note is nice but it's hard to tell what's important. And I have to see everything all at once. If I want to get to the bottom of it, I have to scroll past full size images. In Tana, if you have too much information, you can use the enter and tab keys to break notes apart, then hide them under others. Hit the collapse icon next to the note to hide all the notes below it. So you just see the most important points. If there's a really interesting point you wanna take from the bottom of a note and make more visible, copy the note by right clicking and grabbing the link, then paste it where you want. Rename your messy note as brain dump and then paste just the key points above. And as usual, if you edit this note here, it will update everywhere else. You're keeping track of too many buckets. The goal of your workspaces shouldn't be creating more things you need to remember. You shouldn't have to set up and organize a complex folder or database system that requires you to memorize or remember where everything goes. Spend two weeks away from your system and it will be too difficult to remember how to use it when you come back. Instead, create one kind of thing using a super tag. You don't have to go to a folder or database, just tag wherever and it will show up in the meetings page. If you don't remember what tags you have, start typing a pound symbol and you'll see your most recent types of notes. Start typing to narrow it down. And click to create a new one if you don't see one that already exists. In many note-taking systems, you have to commit to where a note lives at which point it's almost impossible to move it without recreating it in a new spot or losing the information you've attached. With Tana, just remove the tag and add a new one or add two tags so it's two types of things. You don't have to worry about breaking anything or putting a note in the wrong database. Just adjust it and the note will adjust where it goes and what kind of information the note is looking to attach. You can't reuse your buckets. What if you have different types of meetings? Should you just have one meeting type or create a new bucket for each type of meeting? With a single meeting, everything gets thrown in the same place and you have 20 fields that you rarely fill out but you still see every single time you start a meeting. With multiple meetings, you have to spend a ton of time on setup. And if you want to change the way you handle all your meetings, you have to go and change every single meeting type one at a time. Instead, Tana lets you set up a main meeting and different subtypes of meeting, kind of like different meeting flavors. Your main meeting tag is set up to have all the core details that you want in every single meeting. Then you can create different meetings based on that tag. 
one-on-one -on -one meetings versus client meetings versus all hands meetings. Since a one-on-one -on -one meeting is 99% similar to a standard meeting, you don't reset up everything, just add a couple of additional details that are unique to this type of meeting. Then when you create a one-on-one -on -one meeting, you'll see one-on-one -on -one meeting details, but that information won't show up in other meetings, which will have their own specific details. And the best part, if you make a change on your main meeting type, it will update all the other types of meetings too. You can't find your notes again. You need to be able to find your important information when you need it. If you're relying on pure search, especially in a simple app, you'll often hit a dead end, even if you're searching the right terms in the right place. Instead, you want to be able to find notes in multiple consistent ways that you'd expect. Tana has a traditional search. Click here or hit Command S. And we've already talked about how you can summon notes to wherever you are using the add key. But here are some other ways to find your notes again. First, your daily notes. By default, Tana will capture notes to today's daily notes, and you can go back to previous days and see everything you captured on that day. And if you add a date to any note you capture, it will show up in the mentions at the bottom of that day too. So if you can remember when you captured a note, you can find it that way. Another route is by using super tags. You can click on any super tag to jump to the super tag page, where every note of that type is gathered in one place. You can sort them by the date they were created or modified and find what you're looking for. You can't connect your notes. It can be ridiculously difficult to connect one note to another in some apps. In Tana, you just at connect existing notes together to mention one note in another. If you click on a notes bullet to go to a full page version of that note, you can scroll down to the bottom to see that note's mentions. This is every time you've linked to the note so that you can see everywhere else it lives in your workspace. You can't get into flow. Whenever you switch contexts, it hurts. Studies show context switching can cause a 20% loss in cognitive capacity. That's why in Tana, it's easy to bring what you need to where you are without losing your spot. Summon notes to you or even shift click on a linked note to work on it right where you can preview or edit it without opening a new page. Right click a note bullet to open it into a new panel so you can keep your current work open without losing context. And hide anything you're not working on by clicking the collapse icon next to the notes that aren't currently important. You can even summon AI in line without leaving your place by hitting the space bar in any empty note line. Speaking of, you can't use AI easily. Many AI functions in Notes apps are pretty limited and can't interact with your work in meaningful ways. At any point using Tana, hit the spacebar in an empty note to start chatting about whatever notes are nearby. You can draft new content, ask for images, or do research right there, and incorporate it into your notes immediately. You can even select what model you want to use without leaving Tana if you want to get more specific with your requests. You have to use your keyboard. I don't want to always use my keyboard to take notes especially if it's something that I'm brainstorming or figuring out as I go. Just hit forward slash on any empty line in Tana, then select live transcription. You can start talking out your notes to your computer. Then when you're done, you can always just ask AI to clean it up, summarize it further, or even turn it into another format that might be more useful. You can't re-envision your notes. In most workspaces, the format for your notes is pretty inflexible. They look how they look. And if it's a more powerful notes app, you either have to set up a complex database with specialized fields or use a plugin to get what you'd like to see. In Tana, just capture things however you like, say as a simple bulleted list, then hit Command K and type view as. You'll see a bunch of new ways to view your content as tables, galleries, tabs, and more. At any type on any set of notes, you can set it in a new format that works best for you. You can even see the same note in different ways in different contexts so that you see the format that's most useful to you when you need it. And if that feels too complicated, you can always turn it right back to a list. This way your notes can stay simple and be powerful. You don't have to sacrifice to have a system that's powerful and still easy to use. In fact, you can set up Cortana systems like task management and habit tracking in just a few minutes. Watch this video next and I'll prove it to you.